today I have another review for you. Today's review is going to be on the SE products that I received from the London Drugs Beauty Preview event. I only have four products for this video, so it's going to be a bit of a shorter one. So I will just get into that. I got a color from their summer collection in Fierce No Fear. I got their Quickie Drying Drops. Their Matte About You Matte Top Coat, obviously. And their Apricot Cuticle Oil. Just before I get into it, I'm going to point out one thing that really, really disappointed me. Because Essie and Garnier are the same company. And so they had this, they shared a booth at the event. And I actually didn't talk to anybody about the Essie stuff. So I thought when the girl went to go get me the sort of like goodie bag, press bag, that I was going to get some of the Garnier products that she was showing me, which included an under eye roller, the five second blur primer, I think it's called. And, oh, there was one more thing. But they all looked really, really cool. And so I was really looking forward to getting those and none of those were in the bag. So I'm really, really disappointed that I didn't get to try any of those out. But yeah, so I'm just gonna talk about these Essie products now. So the color I got, like I said, is Fierce Snow Fear. As you can see, it is a slightly odd brown color. I'm not really sure how this is a summery color. It's kind of the color of chocolate milk. So I don't know if somebody was like, oh, chocolate ice cream, that's summery. I don't know. It's it's a fairly boring color. I can't wear this one on its own because I think it's really ugly. Kind of just alone. But I did wear it once with a gold glitter over the top, which was fairly pretty. And I mean, Essie nail polishes are amazing. Essie's probably my favorite nail polish brand. I think I like Essie more than OPI. The OPI has more of the colors I like. I really love the formula on Essie. So the nail polish, of course, is great. It's just a little disappointed with the color. Especially since there are so many gorgeous colors in that collection. Next thing I got were the Quickie Drying Drops. I have used a couple of quick dry top coats, but I've never used a drying drop before. As far as I can tell, it's sort of like an oily consistency and you just put a drop or two on each of your nails and let that sit for a couple of seconds and it basically does the same thing as a quick drying top coat. It dries the top so that if you like if you just touch it nothing's gonna happen but if you hit them or anything they're going to dent or smudge. But I guess the difference is you don't have an extra layer of nail polish whereas with a top coat you do. Personally I don't really like the oily feeling and the fact that I would need a regular top coat to put on before the drying drop, so why wouldn't I just use a quick drying top coat? But that said, I do like using this on my toes because I don't really use a top coat on my toes, so that's what I've been ending up using this for. Next is the Essie Matte About You Top Coat. I guess this would be one good use for the quickie drying drops. Personally, I'm not all that into matte nails. I'll do it every once in a while just for something different, but it's not a look I'm especially into. I mean, it works good. It does the matte thing to any of your nail polishes, just like any matte top coat, I guess. So yeah, it, it's good at what it does. It's just not my favorite type of product. This is probably my favorite thing that I got from Essie, the apricot cuticle oil. Personally, I never would have tried this out on my own because I wouldn't pay $10 for a cuticle oil when I could get like a cheap Sally Hansen one or just use hand lotion or something. I would, I would have found something cheaper. But this stuff smells so good. It, I don't know, it, I guess it just smells like apricots. But it's really, really nice and I actually want to put it on my hands. Like I hate putting on hand lotion and cuticle oils because my hands feel greasy and sticky and I can't touch things and I, I just don't want to do it. That one is still an oil so it does still make your fingertips oily though it does absorb really really quickly and it does work really nicely but because it smells so good it's like hand perfume so I actually don't mind using it. So that's everything I got from Essie and nothing from Garnier but I'm just a little bit bitter. 
But yeah, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe. All of the other videos that have gone up from the series will be linked down below as well as my blog post where I show you everything that I received. There are a few things that I won't be probably reviewing, so yes. If you do want to see everything that I received, that will all be in the blog post. Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!